not Vinny. God. Sorry, Vincent. What's wrong? You know I'm continue attempting and flustering me. Just tired as all. Hmm? Uh, sure, Uncle Thomas. <sighs> Henry, can we go for a walk? I need some fresh air. I just don't feel good today. Thanks, Henry. <laughs> you mean, we may never even know we're being hunted down by the government? We can't let Mike or Chris leave the house then. You know, Mike goes to work and sometimes Chris goes with him. Sometimes Chris goes out with Tom someone else. It's dangerous. Just for now, you said it yourself that our every move is being watched. I used to hum this to Mike when he was little. It would help him sleep. He always had trouble sleeping. Now I know why. I was stupid back then to think Mike was just using his imagination. Why have you never left my side, Henry? Even after everything. I know I didn't kill her, but it was my fault she died. Had I... my... Henry... Henry, let me go. What are you doing? Henry, what is wrong with you? I can't breathe. You better be. What was that you were for? You saw who? We should go then. Chris, I don't want to repeat this more than I already have. I already told everyone. Even Mike has too, and he agreed. It's only for a few days. What do you mean we never let you go out? Oh, I'll talk to William about it. But now, just please listen. This is no joking matter. We almost lost you before. You know how we can die a second time permanently. You've been the closest to dying again. Because we haven't been watching you like we should. What if... And you listen. You go with me one day out, and I'll let you do whatever you want. With me watching you, but I'll be there in case of emergency. Sound okay? <laughs> I knew you would agree. Huh? Hey, William. One day, we will have normal lives again. In an interesting way, we will. Do you really think that? Because if we wanted normal lives, we would already have them. After your death, which we couldn't control, everything just went downhill. We're falling off the last string. We can't keep holding on anymore. There's always another way- No there isn't, Vincent. This is the difference between me and you. You can't see the reality of anything. Even as teens. When the world started to look clearer. <laughs> the difference between us makes us who we are, William. <laughs> if I was just like you, or you were just like me, we couldn't even call ourselves who we claim to be. Differences. I'm more open to reality than it seems. My mind is always thinking of how we can end this, so we can be happy. Your mind is closed. Think of, of how we can fix this without any crazy stunts. But those are the only options we have left, William. We can hang on the thread, choosing to fall and give up, or risking everything to not fall. <laughs> this is exactly why you're my brother. Twin brother, that is. <laughs> <laughs> this has took me so long, you will not understand. I had so many bloopers doing this, and hopefully after <laughs> this skit, hopefully we can do the bloopers.